this project I took a three by five inch metal frame and I removed the backing, I removed the glass, I cleaned up the glass, and then I took Elmer's glue and put it around the perimeter of the back of the frame where the glass would sit. Then I replaced the glass and I took Elmer's glue one more time and put it around the perimeter. Now this serves two purposes. It helps to hold the glass in place and it also helps to prevent any resin leaks when you put resin on the other side. So for this project I started by going on the computer and looking up a Christmas ornament stained glass patterns. And um, there's all sorts of free stained glass patterns that you can print out. And so I printed this out and I cut it out. And this is actually a four piece pattern. Uh, the bulb is divided into three and then the very top of it, which would be the metal, um, the piece of metal that you put your little ribbon on to hang it on the tree is another piece. So I cut it into four pieces and then I went ahead and cut it out of stained glass. Now when you cut stained glass you use it on the um, smooth side and you just go ahead and trace your pattern with a permanent marker. This permanent marker does come off with alcohol, rubbing alcohol. And um, I did learn to cut stained glass on YouTube. I'm not an expert stained glass cutter by any means but if you, um, I can tell you a little bit about it but um, it would be a good idea just to go on YouTube and it has great videos and they're free. So what I do is I just follow along the curve of it and kind of cut out a bigger chunk so that I can work with work with that. And you just follow you just follow your uh, pattern, cut it and it actually scores the glass and then you use something called your running pliers which is the red handled pliers and you squeeze it and that is what actually breaks the glass. Next I cut the center piece out of the clear glass and it is a textured glass but of course like I said you always cut it on the smooth side so I just traced it out and cut it and then I went ahead and I cut the little metal topper for the top of the ornament. So for this project I'm using art resin. It's a one to one ratio resin that you mix slowly for three minutes to help prevent any bubbles. So what I did was I went ahead and I put the resin down first and I did this because I'm using putting the textured side of the red ornament down and I wanted to make sure there was going to be resin behind it otherwise I was afraid there was going to be uh, bubbles. So I just put it around the perimeter and went ahead and moved it up into the corners and along the side. I used the kitchen torch to get rid of the, the bubbles and then I start to place the ornament down. And um, I have a rhinestone chain, four mil millimeter rhinestone chain that I'm using to put at the connection points between the clear and the red ornament. I do put a little resin down first so that it will stick to it and um, I guess it fell down in the crack. Toothpicks are wonderful to be able to move stuff around so that you don't have to touch it. And yes, I should be wearing gloves, uh, but I took them off after I had all the resin mixed up. But anyway, I put the rhinestone chain, I had pre-cut it, and it goes between, not between, but on top of the clear and the red part of the ornaments takes me a couple minutes to situate the rhinestones just right but like I said the toothpick is great for that and then I took the uh, red rhinestone two millimeter chain and did put a little hanger on it and I don't know if you noticed but I forgot the little gold topper but um, after about uh, 45 minutes I remembered it and was able to put it on without any problems I did take some iridescent glitter and put it over the clear part of the ornament and after the camera was shut off, I put some of the iridescent glitter in each of the corners just to add a little something, a little sparkle to the whole project. And then it was done. It needs to sit on a flat level surface. Overnight, you can touch it usually after 12 hours. It takes a full 72 hours to cure. It temperatures between 72 and 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It's in your best interest to cover it with a dust cover. Hey everyone, my little Christmas ornament. Now this might be a little bit harder to cut out for a beginner, but it doesn't have to be perfect. 
And this little rhinestone chain that I put on there kind of hides the imperfections. But, um, and then I put a little bit of glitter on that so that the clear part would stand out more. And if you saw when I was putting the resin on, I didn't have this at the top. And I don't know what made me think of it. I was doing something on the computer. Oh, I went back and was uh, putting on the video uh, showing how I cut out these pieces. And I cut that piece out and I thought, oh crud, I never put that on. And so, I mean, it was like an hour later. But the one thing about Art Resin, um, the resin that I'm using, it's the brand name Art Resin, is it says it has like a 45 minute work time. But um, I don't know, it seems to stay pretty liquid for even longer than that. So I, anyway, I was able to run in, I found it on my table and I ran in and I put that on. And I actually had to clip that a little bit shorter and you don't, the resin doesn't look messed up at all there. So um, I think it turned out, I think it turned out good. So, <laughs> so, and then I put glitter up in the corners. I don't know if I did that on the video or not, but I put some glitter up in the corners just to add something because it seems so plain. But I think it turned out cute. I think this would make a great gift for somebody or a hostess gift if, you know, someone's having a Christmas party and so cute, um, so inexpensive if you, you know, get your um, frames from thrift stores and garage sales. This, I'm sure I paid a quarter to 50 cents at the very most for. Um, and the uh, stained glass you can get up at Hobby Lobby and it's about, it's anywhere from eight to $12, I wanna say, for a whole sheet, but you could make a lot, you know, out of that. That's just a tiny piece of, of the red that I took off there. You could make multiple, multiple ones, but um, the Christmas tree shape that I've cut, the one piece Christmas tree shape, if you're uh, just starting and wanna mess around with stained glass, that would be the best shape for you to cut. That would be the easiest and, um, and you know, it wouldn't be disappointing if you couldn't get, you know, you'd be able to get that one, I'm sure. But anyway, um, YouTube has all sorts of people who show you how to cut stained glass and the basics and the tools that you need. I kind of touched on it a little bit um, and I'll try to do more in the future, but um, I don't want to come off as if I know all this stuff about stained glass because I really don't. I'm not an expert stained glass cutter. And you know, a lot of people do it for a living and and they do it with mosaics and that. Um, and, and I give people a lot of credit to the mosaics because not only do they cut the main part, but they fill in every little piece, every little part. To me, that would be so tedious, but um, you know, a lot of people do it. So <laughs> I hope you liked my simple ornament. I thought it was cute. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified of future videos, go ahead and subscribe. And I hope you all have a great day. Thanks for watching.